All right, algebra one. Here we go. Uh, moving on to four three patterns and nonlinear functions. Uh, yesterday we talked about uh, linear functions, straight lines. When you graph them, you get a straight line. Um, today we're going to talk about nonlinear functions, uh, and we want to be able to, to identify and represent patterns for nonlinear functions. Okay, and be able to come up with a rule or an equation for them. So let's start out. What is a nonlinear function? Well, if a linear function means when you graph it, you get a straight line, then a function whose graph is not a straight line would be a nonlinear function. And when you get a u like this, this is a, what we call a quadratic. It's x to the second power. We'll get to that. This is x cubed. And this is absolute value, obviously. Uh, it's a v. Uh, all of those are not straight lines when you graph them, so they're nonlinear uh, functions. So let's look at some patterns and see if we can't come up with a rule or an equation. Okay, if you look in the book, there's a couple of examples there uh, where they're talking about nonlinear functions. Uh, some application ones, the first problem there is the one with the pizza, uh, finding the area versus the cost and all that. Uh, here's another one. Whether it's the pizza or whatever it is, you're going to get a series of values, something for x, something for y. Okay, so here we're looking at the points 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 16, and 5, 32. And we want to find the rule form. Okay, what's the equation that you can plug these values for x into the equation and get those corresponding y values? Okay, how do you do it? Well, I think it helps if you put it into a table first. Okay, so I did x, y table. You're, you've seen those before. And then, now I'm going to look for the pattern. What's being done to the x algebraically to get the y? So I came over here and I said, okay, how do I get from 1 to 2? Well, it could be 1 times 2. And remember, when I'm looking at a pattern here, I'm trying to do the same thing to each set of values to get that y. What am I doing to x? 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So, so far I'm okay. 3 times 2 is not 8 though, it's 6. So that's not going to work. Multiplying each x value by 2 isn't going to work. So <clears throat> I start seeing something here, which you may not see at first, but as you go along here you'll see some things. I start putting my x as the exponent. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 to the second power, 2 times 2, it's 4. 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 2 to the fourth power, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, it works. And 2 to the fifth power is 32. So yes, that's my rule, there's my pattern. I'm taking that x value and making it an exponent of 2 and I'm getting the y value. So I write the rule, y equals 2 to the x power. So it, the next question is then, is this linear or nonlinear? Well, take, plot the points. Anytime you want to know, we said it, nonlinear graphs to be, uh, it won't be a straight line. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. There's one, two, two, four, three, eight, 416, you see 532 would be up here. And you can see there's a curve going right there. So that's, that's nonlinear. If it was a straight line, it'd be linear. When it's not a straight line, it's nonlinear. Okay, so just kind of picking up, uh, moving along with what we did uh, uh, yesterday with linear functions and coming up with a rule or an equation for it. Now we're just looking at some of these here where it's not just going to be multiplying it by 2 or uh, something like that. You're going to have to do some extra and then you start getting these nonlinear functions, whether you're squaring something, cubing it, uh, absolute value, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're going to look at some more patterns uh, tomorrow in class and try to come up with a rule. And then if we want to find out if it's linear or nonlinear, just graph the points. Okay, and then you'll see if you get a straight line or not. All right, so tomorrow we'll pick up here and uh, we'll look at some examples of that. All right, we'll see you then. Bye.